What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple of defensive setups. And I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's Pav back here with another video. And today it is Road to the Classic, episode one. Basically, what I got for you guys today is the first initial stages of PS4 qualifying. So basically what that means is we all had to play four games at the minimum to you know qualify to the single limb bracket i played way more than that i'll break that down in the next episode all that type of stuff the bracket etc etc um but you know here are the first four games some bits and pieces some clips and highlights and some you know short breakdowns of me you know playing these guys record all my games this is something i highly recommend you guys do uh to watch to see what you can prove on this and a third but with all that being said and done i will be competing and doing the same exact video for the xbox side which is literally starting up in a couple minutes i'm just gonna do this video really quickly so i could upload this and then i'll be playing some um xbox regs games which probably will be end up being more sweatier than um ps4 and this set of games you know i did play like a couple great people i played bam i played uh ghost i played who else did i played played some lurk tags and you know that's always fun but you know here's this uh short little breakdown not breakdown, but you know, short like highlights, clips of the four games, uh, that the four minimum games I had to play, and then maybe sooner down the line I'll break down some of those high level comp games that I played. So, you know, see you guys in the video. So as you guys see right here, I'm playing Soul Crusher 96 in my first game. He was rocking the Cincinnati offense and the 4-6 defense, I want to say, and uh, I were I was using New York Jets offense and the 46 defense with of course the Packers, and we're gonna look to set the tone. I don't mind getting ball first in regs. Um, people often play different if you could score on the first drive. And, you know, it is very easy to score in regs. So, guys, starting off early, we are in the middle of the field. I always like to get to a hash. We're starting off with an easy little table route that we get for about, you know, eight to nine yards. Aaron Jones is a dog. Right here, guys, he wants, he blitzed me. Nice blitz right there. But Aaron Jones getting jiggy with it. Double juke in. Get a couple yards as well. Right here, guys, bunch trail play. Just looking for the out route, and that's what we get right here. Jets dig, table route, it hits off JPP's head. JPP and the Bucks are crazy on regs. Um, the defense, secondary, not so much, but their front seven is. Big play alert, guys. He runs cover two with crazy zone drops, but Mesh gets over the cloud, and A-Rod's release, flick of the wrist, down to the six-yard line. He stopped me for a couple yards backwards um, on the goal line, and right here, we just audible to a pass. Devonte Adams up the seam red zone threat. We're up 7-0 boys Okay, guys, so right here my opponent comes out gun type flex um, I'm running the 4-6 defense like I said and you know I'm running match right here trying to just match on and for the most part that looks like a bad guys I don't know what you guys think it's right here. He could have thrown four net those broken plays do happen quite a bit But you know, he has Tom Brady. He wanted to get the ball out so after a second down stop on the pretty much the same exact play my opponent does decide to go for it on third i mean not decided but he goes for a corner route on third down and it was somewhat open but holloman makes a great play and he basically swats that out fourth up, fourth down upcoming and right here boys we're making adjustments we're sending five we're just trying to get any and all any type of pressure any type of sheds and right here he hits us with a nice crosser dot my match zones didn't really match onto that they kind of went down low which i'm fine with you know but my user has to be better than that and that's the thing with match sometimes you don't know what is gonna guard what it's right here once more. He's in the red zone, man. We're in the 3-3-5 wide, and we see Zadarius Smith getting these nice sheds. Raven Green makes a great tackle right there. Big play alert, guys, right here. Um, you know, he's in the red zone. He's trying to force some stuff in. We send once more three, and I don't know if he had anything, guys. I think he was throwing a pick, and we get a throw out of sack. Kadar Holloman, great player, 93 speed. He's just not that great in coverage, but, you know, he does make plays, as you see right there, interception for us. Guys, we decided to switch it up a little bit, run some bunch tight end. And, you know, if we score here, I'm calling this game over, guys. It's tough to get back from down two deficits, two uh, two possessions in regs, even with the Bucks. 
And guys, literally when I say that, I have this corner route, I think, but Jamel Dean is tall, he makes a great play. That is his best defender, so you know, I'm not mad about that. Can he make it, can he bounce it out? Can he bounce it out? Aaron Jones is right there, and he basically tracks him down out of bounds. So you know, that that's tough. Um, he does get ball a half, so I gotta kind of tie it up right here. I'm throwing too many picks. I'm playing a little loose now. It's a third down and 11. He really doesn't have anywhere to go, man. I'm telling you, I have a nice bag for this offense. And he's going to kick three. It's right here, guys. Simple hitch pattern right there. Hitch between the zones. A big play alert right here, guys. He gave me that corner route. Last time, I decided to run a different corner route. And this time, he all, all just all together, I think, either hard flats or does something. And you can't do that to Devontae Adams. It's right there. We're going to get down to the 13-yard line. It's right here, guys. We're trying to run boot over. It's a little too close to be running boot over. I should have hit circle way earlier. I decided to hit it late. And it results in a Devin White pick. So, you know, I feel like we're moving and grooving. But, you know, a couple bad sheds, a couple bad reads. And, you know, he has the ball once more. So, guys, I was sending a lot of three this whole game. Three-man coverage. And now we decide to send the dogs. Finally. It's right here, guys. Fourth down and 12. If we get off the field, we could get the ball back. We come with that pressure. And Will Redmond throw out a sack. Tip drill interception. Those Packers definitely have some nice linebackers and with that we drive all the way down to the one yard line we're trying to get seven we do this nice little fullback dive run aj Dillon hasn't been fighting really but he does fight right there we're up 14 to 3. third and 25 right here guys and this game is looking all but over and to add on top of that he did have a dot but brady's release plus jair acrobat gets me that pick with that we're able to drive all the way down and we hit a nice high ball on the run dot to Devontae Adams that pretty much sums up game one in game two guys we are playing Mr. Young 22 um he decides to run run and gun and four six with the Broncos very questionable I'm like sitting here in disbelief I'm like is this dude really gonna do this and yes he does game two on the way right here guys we're setting up mesh and this guy would put his nickel cornerback on the left that's just a rookie mistake in my opinion leaving bombs like that wide open we try to cut it back because we thought AJ Boyer was a little faster, but in reality, we probably could have kept running. Nice gain right there on the first possession of the game. A cute little play right here, guys. Not really, I maybe had Devontae, let me know. But I make a nice little uh, little step up in the pocket, avoid Justin Simmons as his user, all the way down to the five. And right here, guys, I forget to sub in the two goons, AJ Dillon and Aaron Jones. So we decide, you know what, we're going to pass. And we, you know, we have Mercedes Lewis, he's very slow. But he somehow gets a touchdown for us. You got to love it, man. Right here, guys. My opponent is running single back ace with the Broncos. They actually have two good tight ends. It's right here. He hits that corner route. Excuse me, post. And, you know, it was like an eight-yard gain at first. But he somehow gets seven extra rack yards. And the Broncos, man, if they had a gunslinger, they might be good. They have a decent defense. Some good receivers out there. And offensive weapons is right here. Noah Fant on the other end. So I don't know who the first tight end was. He was fast. And so was Noah Fant. It's right here. He's motioning Jerry Judy across the field. And, you know, he's three for three with the passes so far. And when I say three for three, that counts, right, guys? Kadar Hallman, 93 speed. Just sometimes you got to run a little shade under man and see if they're really talking about it. Um, zone is easy to dot up this year. He had two zone dots. You know, I, you know what I said? I said, you know what? Let me switch it up, run a little man shade under. And Hallman was just all over that. It's right here. My opponent just flat out coverage bust. And Devontae Adams to the Baja. We're up 14-0. This game is pretty much looking over. If we get another stop. It... So right here, guys. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to mix it up now. I'm trying to send that pressure. Um, basically trying to fake a user rush or do a user rush. It's right here. That looked like a lob. But in reality, that was a bullet pass. And that's just how non-gunslingers act. That was crazy. I thought I was going to pick it. But, you know. Darnell Savage was a little, little too short for that one. We're sending the pressure, and we get home with the user rush. We all know and love the user rush, man. And right here, I'm, I think I'm gonna go and do it again, man. Actually, let's see what we do. I kind of forgot what happened right here. And yes, we go in again, and literally instant user rush. He had someone wide open, and like I said, we all hate it or love it. Some hate it more than they love it. Me personally, I don't mind it too much because I do not run under center. But if you do, I feel for you. Right here, third down and 19. If we sack him out of field goal range, we will be good for this game. Um, you know, I'm sending that outside corner on the right, trying to see if I can make something happen. And, you know, he obviously motioned that guy over, so I'm going to readjust and blitz the slot cornerback. And I can't come in free, but Kenny Clark says, I got you, Pop. And boom, boom, boom. 
right here, man. This is it, man. This is where the game is pretty much won, uh, pretty much lost for my opponent. He goes for it on this big of a down, and you know I try to go for four straight user rushes. He does complete it, but at the end of the day, that's not gonna cut it. We end up winning this game. I forgot the score, but it was a blowout. Guys, my next opponent decides to, you know, I'm a, I'm playing Pav. He's a Raiders representative. Let me rock out with the Raiders. Shout out to him, man. He wasn't as bad as you may have thought. Raiders just have no defense. Their offense is roided, though. Because right here, we're going to run a little mesh post. And simple out route right there. He was running a little, a lot of soft off coverage. And you could do that, man. As you see, cover four quarters. And right here, he switches it up to double A gap. And he once more had the nickel corner on the left side right there. Right here, he gets a crazy rush. And, you know, that could have been a pick, guys. Say what you want. But at the end of the day, that was Nick. Kudakowski on Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones does have that running back masters right here. We are kind of bagged. We're going to just throw this ball away. After he gets a stop on third down, we decide, you know what? Damon Arnett isn't the fastest. MVS has 93 speed. I noticed he was, you know, pressed him up, cover four palms, no safety help. We decided to just loft that ball over the top. As you see right here, we are cooking up in the red zone now. And we'll let once more have the strong side numbers to the right side, the bunch side, aka. Okay? And we're trying to get something to work. And Tavon Austin gets a nice little catch. He does get an unfortunate rack animation. Maybe if he caught it in stride, he could just run up the field. But it is what it is. And guys, once more, we forget to sub in the goons. But it doesn't matter. Jamal Williams, I think that's his name, gets it done for us right there. Easy seven. My opponent is coming out in the strong close, man. I think he was in Vegas playbook as well. Vegas, hands down, the best playbook in the game. I consider Jets like a, second, a strong second. You know, there's a lot of good playbooks out there this year with a lot of runnable formations, man. And that's what I like about Madden, you know, when you could just freestyle a lot and run a lot of runnable things. It's right here. We're trying to come in with that user rush, but he makes a great dot for the best tight end in the league, Darren Waller. And right here, man, once more, my this opponent is running under center. So, you know, I'm thinking maybe I could hit, hit him with a couple user rushes right here. He decides to go into bunch and look how fast Henry Ruggs was. That was a little uh, stop and go route. We all know that route. I thought that was an easy bait, but then, you know, once he hit that second gear, I really wasn't even close to the ball. Right here, man, a third and 12. I consider this third and long. Not as long as, you know, uh, third and 15, third and 20, but this is still a tough scenario to get. And he's in the gun tight doubles. Uh, and look how, how the ball is with, without Gunslinger. That looked like a lob. I can guarantee that was probably a bullet, but it took a long time to get there compared to with A-Rod. That probably would have just been... A quick and easy dot. He's going to decide to punt. Right here, man. I noticed he was getting very, very aggressive with his user. And we just hit him up top. We're not able to bounce it for six. Actually, never mind. We are. Jeff Heath gets put on skates. I hate doing that to my Raiders. But I have to, man. Um, they honestly had no chance for Tavon Austin. I could have probably just outran them both. But I wanted to, you know, stun on him for the YouTube, man. And guys, this game is looking all but over as well. And right here, we run a stock cover two shell. And he tries to go to Darren Waller. And you know what Jair says? He says, I'm not picking it. I'm going to swat it. And, you know, you got to love it, man. You got to love it. It's right here, guys. He's in the I, I form close. He runs a power O. And we're all over that, man. And right here, we're trying to send the pressure. We send five. He blocks five. And, you know, he actually hits us with a dot. Psych, that was not a dot. That was a Jair trying to pick it off again. And he's 0 for 2 right now with picks. Just bad plays from Jair so far, keeping him in this game. He's in the spread. We're trying to scream at him, and that's what we do. Easy sack for Will Redmond. Opponent did decide to punt us the ball, and we actually just trying to freestyle, trying to cook up some glitchy combos. That wasn't really a glitchy combo, but, you know, here's Devontae Adams. Hits a juke, and he's out of there. You're not catching him. That's GG's right there. Another blowout for us, and on to the final game, game four on the way. Right here, guys, we are playing V Sickness V. He is a part of Madden Daily. Um, this is actually the best game I've had to this point, the best game of this video. Um, but I'm still going to be doing short little highlights, short little clips, because I don't want to make this too long of a video. My opponent is running the 245 odd. Basically, he's just trying to run this little loop blitz, and which it is pretty good in regs, man. It's uh, You have to kind of work for it and earn your yards. You can't really just sit there and bomb. So right here, we just hit a short little flat to the left side. And yeah, he was using the Bucks. The Bucks are always a tough matchup. I, I like my match uh, odds against them, but you know, they are really tough to stop on offense. And we're using the use of audibles very well. We're just trying to go up top right here, trying to, you know, get some points. Is right here, Robert Tanyan. 
to the right side and see see six for six 54 yards that's how you got to treat it versus you know like 35 odds 245 odd type defense and right when i say that i go into the you know probably the biggest chunk play in this game pa boot over let's see if we can cook something up uh austin on a slant and right there we just hit it to aaron jones for a couple yards right here man we're running this trap except psych we're not we notice he's on that left side he comes in and boom a easy easy touchdown of course not I, I thought it was a touchdown man you forgive me i played a lot of games yesterday uh we're down to the four but we're still gonna definitely score right here guys right here mercedes lewis in motion can we get in right here and we can't that's what i meant by aaron jones doesn't or excuse me aj Dillon wasn't fighting for me today excuse me this day he just wasn't getting it done right here we're trying to go and you know maybe use the red zone threat he's probably selling out to the run and this isn't the best combo but it kind of got the job done man red zone threat shout out to Devonte, another touchdown now if you guys notice my opponent is running the pistol playbook right here we gap shoot making it a third and long so right here he went no huddle he went into the pistol bunch he had a couple players open but that's what happens when you send that pressure as darius smith turns up edge third elite he's punting the ball to us right here guys back on the offensive side of things we're going to take a step to the right hit a nice dot that we found in the practice mode in the lab 10 for 10 so far with a rod the god right here we go back to the same play um it's called flood and we see if we can make this read and oh that was a dot again but that happens sometimes thankfully it wasn't a pick i gotta figure out what happens right there and like i noticed he would just keep giving up this play he's running soft man and you know i decided to just hit this low ball in route right here carlton davis isn't making a play right there right here we freestyle up a little bit Devonte on this post tanyan excuse me mvs on the slant and you know what give me the mvs slant any day of the week nice dot right there to the five yard line once more back in the red zone this time we're actually going to run it can we get in though no we can't man this dude aj Dillon. i gotta start air trucking more i guess and yeah that's why we use aj Dillon, man um he is just great with the air truckers right here you know what just, i'm just gonna run the ball in with aaron jones uh arguably the second or best maybe even player on this team those three triple a's are really good aaron Rodgers, aaron jones and Devonte adams they're the best right here my man my opponent hasn't shown me yet nothing so far right here he hits a nice dot i felt like my match coverage was in play right there but kevin king being super slow just couldn't get there and i kind of messed up my click on but nonetheless he could have possibly made a play man honestly right here um he started hitting me with some nice dots and all that type of stuff stuff i've never seen before honestly at a spread like the alignments and you know the adjustments they were all getting messed up man look at my adjustments i have one purple going to the right one purple going to the left and i'm kind of like what's going on right now it's right here i don't know where my user went boys he hits a nice dot to the five yard line right here guys we go off sides but thing is we play great defense kevin king jumps out of the roof but we are off sides and right here man he throws a nice slant to mike evans mike evans also having red zone threat is gonna make that play seem effortless guys right here we're just trying to get some points before half we could very manageably get seven as right here we just hit this low ball excuse me not low ball this motion flat once more bad rack animation it is what it is and right here man Devonte adams on a slant route tech i should have thrown it away earlier but i try to make a glitchy play a rod roaming dead eye no man i gotta learn how to use it man let me know if you've had success using roaming dead eye or not guys and this time we just run Jets dig once more, and he kept giving this up for some reason. We get this rack out of bounds to 31. Right here, man. PA boot over. We're just going to hit this nice post, and we get some nice yards. But there is a flag, guys, and that flag is because I was on aggressive blocking when I went in the red zone. I forgot to switch it off. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. You know, At least I didn't fumble because I was on aggressive ball carrier as well. That's pretty much going to result in us having to take three. And when I say take three, I do attempt to take three, but we honestly shank this. Look at that awful, awful kick. And, you know, we're up only a half that's by seven. And guys, right here, this, my opponent is taking a lot of the clock right here. He's right here, third and 12. Oh my goodness, Amos, we sent the pressure. It was a great play call. Amos has to pick it off. That's like one of my best players on defense. And a big fourth and three right here, guys. Uh, pistol bunch once more, and he hits this nice corner out. 
I thought Hallman was gonna get glitchy. I should have put zone drops on. Good dot right there. Right here, second and seven for my opponent. He was doing a lot of audibling and this and that. And, um, you know, right here, he is gonna hit this delay fade. Green almost in position, but he just can't get there. And, you know, at this point, I was thinking to myself, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you know, his running back is behind him. I could just go in and user rush him because his running back can't get in front of me. And, you know, that's when the spark clicked. That's when I started to say, you know what? Can he pick this up even? Can he do this? Right here, we're going to show the same look again. We're going to try to use a rush. He does run. No running yards for you. Man, it is a third and 16. There is five minutes left. This game is kind of, you know, you know, went by fast, I should say. Right here, we try to go with another user rush. And for some reason, it's just not there. And I think that's an angle route, and we give it up on third and 16. That's just greedy play calling on myself. Can't give that up, but you know, I'm in an all right position nonetheless still. It's right here. It is a third and goal. We lock up first two downs. Um, huge down. Is some, he has to get seven. He's going to go for it next down, too. We run match, and right there, Amos says, I got you from the play before. Completely undercuts that corner route, but we are on the one-yard line now, man. It's right here, man. We do throw one yard flat, but we still didn't get out of the end zone. It's right here. We should have lowballed the flood route. I was scared of Devin White. We almost throw a pick, boys. Bad read. We have to convert this. He runs cover three. Mesh, wide open. Great dot. That is in my ebook, man. Check it out in the link below. Jets ebook is on top right now. It's right here, man. Running a little bunch trail. Blocking the tight end so we don't get screamed at. And I noticed my opponent was running five or zero even. Uh, flats and right there that left the wheel route wide open that's gonna be game pretty much if we could get another first man and that's what we do boys we're gonna run base and we bounce it out those two four five odds three three five odds honestly are not the best run d so if you are ha having trouble at home playing against them you could abuse the tote man abuse the tote right here we're just you know we're, we're getting reps this isn't the most serious of games but we obviously want to win is right here once more mesh on top Jets ebook down below. Appreciate y'all watching Road to the Classic episode one. It might, might have been a longer video, but you know, it was some great content here. I'm gonna go get on the Xbox side right now and play some games and you know, I'll get those games out to you too, because those are gonna be some sweaties. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe. Much love to y'all. Keep pumping out the content. Hopefully you guys keep supporting me. Catch you next time. Peace.